Hi everyone, I'm Derek with CoreOS, and in this video I'm going to explain how and why to run the Kubernetes kubelet with the Rocket container engine in CoreOS. The kubelet is the primary agent that runs on every node in a Kubernetes cluster. It receives instructions from the Kubernetes API server to start or stop pods and performs other tasks like configuring the network. Traditionally, the kubelet has been shipped baked into the CoreOS Linux distribution and would be available on the host. Unfortunately, this meant that the cluster's kubelet version was tied to the cluster's running version of CoreOS. One of the biggest implications of this is that if you wanted to stay on your current version of Kubernetes, you'd need to disable updates to your CoreOS cluster nodes, which can leave important security vulnerabilities unpatched. Luckily, there's a solution to this problem. Using the magic of containers, we can decouple the version of the kubelet from the version of CoreOS. For some time now, in CoreOS we've been shipping a simple bash script to do exactly that. This script, located at slash user, lib64, CoreOS kubelet wrapper, on any CoreOS machine, will use Rocket to run a kubelet container. The script expects that an environment variable be set that specifies the kubelet version, then mounts in the pieces from the host that the kubelet needs to be able to do its job. And finally, it runs the kubelet using Rocket's fly stage one. The fly stage one is a very important piece to this process. In Rocket, the stage one is the component that isolates it and starts an application. The default stage one uses Linux namespaces to ensure that your process can't interact with other resources on the host. The fly stage one, on the other hand, simply uses the change root syscall and doesn't set up any namespaces. This means that the kubelet can access and manage the host's file system mounts and network configuration, which is necessary for it to be able to run the containers for the Kubernetes cluster. To use the script, all you need to do is set the kubelet version environment variable and then call the script as you would the kubelet itself. Any arguments you specify are passed directly to the kubelet that is running inside of Rocket. And to demonstrate this, I have a local Kubernetes cluster running in libvirt. I have one master node and three worker nodes, and right now we're actually on one, the uh, first worker node of the three. If we do rocket list, you can see that we have a running hypercube image uh, containing the kubelet uh, that is currently running. And what's more, if I drop back to my host and just call kubectl git nodes pointing it at the local uh, master node, you can see that all three of the workers with their kubelets running inside of rocket are successfully registered and ready for tasks to be assigned to them. And to get this cluster online, I was able to use the default CoreOS CloudInit configs provided in the Kubernetes repo under cluster slash libvirt-coreOS. I only had to make a couple of changes to get them to use the kubelet wrapper instead of the kubelet binary directly. Let's take a look at those changes now. The first of these changes is incredibly straightforward in that I uh, modify the kubelet.service to point to the kubelet wrapper instead of the kubelet binary. The second of these changes is that I specified an environment file for the kubelet service to pull environment variables from. And uh, to have the file for it to pull from, I added a write file uh, command to, to fill in opt kubernetes-env. And here we have two lines, the kubelet version, which I pointed to earlier in the script, and this uh, version just comes directly from uh, the Quay.io image. So if we go to Quay to look at the Cora slash hypercube image, you can click over here on the left on the tags to see which versions are available for you to use. And the second line, which is this rocket ops line here, was only necessary because the Kubernetes tooling to spin up a local uh, Core S cluster put uh, some of the resources the kubelet needs in opt Kubernetes instead of Etsy Kubernetes, which is mounted in by default. If you have any questions about the kubelet, documentation is available at kubernetes.io. And if you have any questions about Rocket, or anything CoreOS related in general, documentation is available at coreos.com. And of course, if you have any questions about the wrapper script uh, specifically, or you just want to chat, feel free to hop into Pound CoreOS on Freenode. Thanks for listening.